Hello gamers, family and friends. Welcome to a game called Above Snakes. Well, it's the prologue anyway. In the prologue of Above Snakes, you awake in a destroyed settlement and help the survivors rebuild it. After that, expand the world with world pieces. In other words, you get world pieces, you have to put them down. Craft, farm, hunt, build a base, and fight to find out more about what happened. Well, let's just play. How about that? Start a new journey. Axes can be used best against undergrowth, wood, and flesh. Corpse Creek, 1883, a small town in the west of this beautiful country. It was a peaceful evening, but suddenly... Bam! The darkness of the midnight sky was interrupted by a brilliant green light. The anomaly was followed by a flurry of stone, stones of flame that fell upon the ground. Folks stormed from their homes, dazed by the sky illuminated up above. It didn't take long for the first of the meteors to reach the earth with a massive bang. Those who survived took their loved ones to the graveyard of the Corpse Creek. As the bodies lay freshly buried and the local preacher Noah gave his last blessing, the ground rumbled. A hand burst from one of the graves reaching toward the sky. While folks were quick to pull their firearms free, they were unable to hunt the loved ones they only just buried, but they would soon discover that those that had risen were no longer human. I guess they turned to zombies really quick, huh? You, Iwana, must... <laughs> you, Iwana, have been traveling these lands for a while now. During this night, you were staying at for a night at a small lumberjack settlement called Hunter's Rest. The next morning, you wake up. <sighs> I'll grab the backpack. All right. Inspect the backpack. All right. At least it's warm and dry here. This is perhaps the only place now in Hunter's Rest where that is the case. Hey! Ayana, Iwana, there you go. Let's call her like that. Voice from outside. Are you awake? All right. Oh, wait a minute, we got a box here. Crate. Oh, goodness, a book. Folks that can read might pay a decent price for it. Coin. One value. Miscellaneous skull. Somebody pay a decent price for this. And another coin. It was really cramped in here for everyone sleeping in this one room last night. Whoa! Boy, that flash of light got me quick. Q and E do the rotating. Okay. There we go. We can see how much better. Joanne! Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Sniffles and weeps. What are we to do? The horror that came over us. Are you okay? I know 
but things first. Are you okay? I'm not hurt, so I guess I'm okay. It's just her voice cracks. My house, my beautiful house, is in shambles. And the whole town, oh, look at me, bawling my eyes out about my house while all those people lost their lives. This whole thing is such a mess. How can I help? Is there anything I can do to help? Why? The tears from her eyes. Actually, yes, the whole town is in ruins. So we can use all the help we can get. We would need logs to rebuild. Even though we have that sawmill over there, I doubt whether we have enough logs to rebuild those houses. Uh, let's ask that. The whole house shook last night. Did you go outside to see anything? When I felt the rumble, I jumped out of bed and ran outside. I saw the skies crack open, and suddenly those black and green stones came hailing down. That's when I ran into the house where you stayed, trying to find shelter. Uh, do you have an axe? To get you some logs, I need to chop some trees with an axe. Do you have an axe I can borrow? I've been searching for my axe, but I can't find it among these ruins. Perhaps you can make yourself a strong axe. Here's plenty of materials around here to craft one. Okay. Looks like those people need my help. Joanne said I need an axe to help chop down the trees. Let's see what's around here to craft an axe. Gather sticks from the pine trees. Open your backpack and craft an axe. All right. Search. Twig. Oh, I can make an axe now? Oh, I gotta have three twigs. Any more twigs in there? How about now? Nope, that one's all out. We gotta go to this one. Let's just get a couple more, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need them. Alright. Oh, it didn't show it doing nothing. I didn't even know if I had an axe. Okay, number one, an axe. Equip your axe or chop a tree. Gather some lumber. Okay, number one. We am going to search that tree. Get out here where I can see her. Oh, yeah. What is that? Gathering rocks. Craft the pickaxe and gather rocks. Can I craft a pickaxe yet? Yeah, I guess I did. I crafted it. I did it. Gather rocks. Chop it, girl. Hit that rock. There we go. Oh, hit it. Let's get this one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a good bit of stuff anyway. Let's get this tree here. Because it looks dead anyway. And probably got... There you go. Fall on that zombie. Nope. <laughs> Fatigue. Oh, I'm getting heavy now. Joanne. All right. Time to get started, wouldn't you say? The sawmill was only set up to saw lumber. Plus, it's unusable. 
in its current state anyway, so we'll have to build a log cabin instead of a plank one. But first, oh my, how can I forget? Before we can build a new house, we need to take down the old one. My mind really is a mush these days. If you craft a hammer, you can use it to tear down my old ruined house to free up some space. And later we can adjust the house if you need to. Okay. Uh, if I craft a hammer, I can adjust my buildings. Okay. Get plant fibers, craft a hammer, take down Joanne's old house. Okay, we'll do. Plant fibers. I guess we use an axe for that, huh? All right, we got some plant fibers. Every game I've played always took a lot of plant fiber, so I figure I will get a lot. All right, let's see. Oh, hammer. There we go. Adjusting structures with the hammer. Use the hammer to alter pre-existing buildings or use your... Okay. Number three. F, take it down. Alright, uh, we didn't get the stone out of it. Alright. Go back to one. Oh, we gotta escape. To start building, I need to make a workbench. Some plants around here should give me the plant fibers I need. Craft a workbench and set up the workbench. Alright. Um, let's see, can I already do that? Yes, I can. Told you he was going to need it. Number four. Yeah, we'll just set it out right here in the middle. With the workbench, you can craft building parts to create shelter, crafting stations to refine your resources, and both useful and decorative furniture. Upgrading a workbench enables additional crafting requires. Recipes require certain materials. Yeah, well, we figure that. I cleaned up the mess that the meteor created. Time to build a new one for you, Joanne. There is more lumber at the old sawmill. Craft at least four foundations at the workbench. Okay. Workbench. Um, four foundations. It requires one. I only got two lumber, so let's go get some. Let's go get some more lumber. Some more trees. What I do? Put the axe up? Yeah, I guess it's best to search the tree first before you cut it down and get the sticks. Oh, don't fall off the land. Alright. Search this one. Fatigue. Oh, she's... She's tired. Pick it up.
All right. We've got to create four foundations. Foundations. One, two, three, and four. All right. Build a new home with walls and roof. Okay. Number four. All right. The better a shelter is constructed, the more shelter it provides. The more shelter it provides, the more perks it will unlock that give bonuses. Well, that's fairly good to know. All right. That one. What is it? She getting sleepy or something? Oh, I'm building your home with walls and roofs. All right. How many more can I make? I got six. Let's see about this. Oh, I'll need I'll need more than that. One, two, three, four. We'll build one more. Oh, we're gonna get more lumber anyway. Sorry. All right. Yeah, we'll put that right out front so we'll have a stoop, as they call it. Oh, the trees have grown back. Nice. Search it. Come on, girl. Search it. We'll be able to put down um, land pieces. And a bit. Give me them sticks. Boy, she does some fancy cut. Alright, let's turn this thing around. Well, I'm getting good at that. Search it. We'll probably have to go in and sleep. Oh, the rock's coming back, too. Oh, it's going my house. There you go. Roll right off. Two. We'll get this. All right. Some rocks. All right. Else. Let's see, we want to start building. How do we want to build this? Windows and everyone. That one over here has got windows and everyone. Yep. Mm, I'll tell you what. I wonder. If I can, let's do this. Oh, it's better right where she's at. Let's just build that one right there. Let's get a couple. Uh, let's 
see. One of those. Let's see how wide these will be. Let's see, number five. Yeah, I'd rather have the windows just right there. And this is kind of neat. I like this. Now, I did not build that other one either. It was highlighted and it automatically made it. And I guess we'll be able to use it at some point. One there. And let's see. We probably want one at the front. gosh that's where I was going to put my door we'll put it there now all right what else we got here Photography table. Probably got to have that before we build the uh, I'm pressing five. We'll put one there. And one there till we can get some more trees. Oh. Let's get these little stickies of fibers. Get this tree. All right. Give me my wood. Oh, I haven't been in here yet. Can't go in. It tore it up out the back. Oh my goodness. Get another tree. I imagine it's point. We're gonna have to go to sleep. That one. Now mine didn't have a them rock foundations on it like that one does.
We're gonna work her to death. I was hoping to be able to put a piece of land up. Um. Well, we can't look at that. Oh, there's a tree around here. Goodness, we're just about at time, too. Pick up. Pick them up, girl. Can't do nothing with the long logs. All right, we have got to go the shelter. Just wait a minute, how many we need? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And probably five. We'll do five and a couple of uh, doorways. I mean, not doorways, but windows. Come on, man. All right, and then a couple windows. Let's go down here and we'll do a there, there, and there. Um, there. And there. Uh oh. Time. Make sure to get some rest by standing by a fire. Even better, getting sleep. You can craft beds in which you can sleep during the night time, which restores your health and fatigue. Be careful. If you don't get sleep, you will suffer from sleep deprivation. All right. Uh, no, I did not... And let's do a foundation. Oh, I had to. It gave me that one back, didn't it? Um. One of those. Let's see. What else do we need? Four foundation. Um, that's the hardest thing. You can't get it off of it. Uh, let's see. That one. Let's put two windows up right there. Makes sense to me.
Um, we got to build some roofs now. We're going to keep the rain and whatnot. Well, roofs will do. Oh, let's build a couple of these. Let's see here. Number eight. R rotate. Let's see. There. Oh. And there. And there. We got two more. One there and one there. Oh, she wants to know something. All right. Hey, Joanne. Wow, look at that home. Great work, Awana. There's something else that requires our immediate attention, though. I just realized that that person laying over there is still breathing. He inhaled the smoke of the meteor last night and fainted later. Some debris seemed to have wounded him. When I found him this morning, I checked on him and was certain that he was not breathing anymore. But maybe there is still hope for him. Do you know what to do? Uh, tell her that you know how to help. Tell her that you never provided now. There you go. I never provided medical care before. Bandages should help stop the bleeding. Maybe there's still some left in the in the uh, clutter in the old sawmill. All right. We got to find the bandage, but we're going to do that. Now, earlier it wouldn't let me go in. In the clutter, in the old fake book. Barrel. Oh, I'll take that. Yep, yep. And an oil lantern. Crate. Oh, a bandage. There we go. That's what we needed right there. A shelf. Oh, yeah. Use this right now. Yeah, heal him. Oh no. He turned into one of those things. Be careful, they are extremely aggressive. Space to dodge, to perform a dodge roll. Performing dodge rolls will help you during fights. These lands are full of dangers, especially dangers, especially at night time, such as wildlife or the lost souls. These are that are roaming around since the plague. Be careful. Uh, whoa! I'm hitting space, and it's not doing nothing. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Let's see. I can hit him with my axe, can't I? Where you at, buddy? Come on here. All right. Good hit. Good hit. Oh, nice. He's down. Okay, we got to talk to her, to Joanne again. 
Um, but we're going to end it right here. Please subscribe, like, and share if you would. I love you, appreciate you, bless you, and goodbye.